Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Coyote Countdown! <laughs> Woo! Stop clapping! And here is your host, Lady Coyote! Oh, my head still hurts. I Oh, welcome back to the Coyote Countdown, the show where we talk to characters we never met in the Abridged series. What's an Abridged series? Don't worry about it. Okay. Today's episode was supposed to be sponsored by 7-Up, but we had to drop it. Why, you might be asking. Well, one of the Muppets appeared in said commercial, and after the Kermit incident last week, <laughs> Mike Boss has cut all her connections to the Muppets. And thanks to her, we now have no funding. Way to go, Janice! <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, as head priestess of the village, I'm in charge of many things. I protect the village from demons, perform marriages, collect herbs for medicine, deliver babies, act as matchmaker, throw salt on people, and once in a while, I do couples therapy. With me today are a few couples who are in need of Kaede's special therapy. Introducing royalty, oh boy, here we go. Here is Princess Suyu and Lord, um, I I'm sorry, your highness. I your name is missing from my records. Damn it, Tim. How hard is it to write down your own name? Tim? Oh, sorry, honey. Must have slipped my mind. Oh, I'm gonna slip my fist if you're- Hey, hey, whoa, I see the problem. It appears that you two have serious issues. But this is beyond me. I'm gonna send you two out to my referral. Uh, excuse me? Don't hate the player, hate the game. What does that even mean, Kaede? What I mean is that I gave Inuyasha advice once and I thought I was good enough to be a therapist. Hey, Kaede, can you pass the salt? Watch that, Inuyasha. You have a deep-seated fear of failure, and you feel like you're not going to be good enough for anyone. Sometimes you just lay in bed at night, staring at the ceiling, just wondering, wondering, will someone ever truly love you? If you didn't want to pass the salt, you could have just said so, you stupid bitch! <laughs> I was clearly wrong. That's not fair! Life's not fair. Gotta pull off that band-aid now. Well, easy come, easy go, honey. No, 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 no. We came all this way for therapy. We are not turning back. Uh, there must be some advice you can give us. Have you tried happy pills? It works for me. It zongs you out for hours. Days. Days. Uh, all right. But yeah, drugs. Fill out this prescription with your local gardener. The last 30 therapists said the exact same thing. There must be some actual advice you can give us. Well, I think... Not you, Tim. Tim, have you tried listening to your wife? What do you mean? You know... Caring. I don't follow. Giving a shit, Tim. Giving a shit. Have you tried that? What? You see? Nothing but air beneath there. I see. What brought you two together in the first place? He raided my village and chose me because I was the prettiest. That's adorable. That's a story for the grandchildren. His first words to me were, pretty, I want one. How romantic. But since then, there's been no spark in our relationship. Spark? Fire! Fire where? There's no fire, Tim. Calm down. <sighs> Danger! Run away, tick lady! Oh my, Kaede! I think you actually helped us! Thank you! It appears fire is his trigger. I'm glad I could help! Uh, thank you! Oh, she's just so great. I need to do jack shit, but I'll take the credit anyway! That's how you get ahead in life! How do you think I became priestess? Was it your sister murdered? What's important is that I got her job! Okay, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll continue our couples therapy on this special episode of the Kaede Countdown. We'll be right back after these messages. Why does Grover love the taste of 7-Up? Why does Grover like the taste of 7-Up? That is a very good question. In fact, if I had all the time in the world, I would write an essay on what I love. The taste of 7 up. But I do not have that, and I also did go to school. So you're not getting an essay, you're just getting my opinion. I guess it's okay. And if you want to be like over, you should drink 7 up. Because apparently, 7 up is officially the drink of cover. Supposedly. 7 up, apparently the official drink of Grover. And now back to the Kaede countdown. And the therapy continues. Our next couple comes from... Oh my god, we're not a couple. He just used to stare at me all the time from the bushes. Used to do it all the time when we first started dating. She keeps giving me mixed messages. What do you want from me? He used to follow my carriage around, look over me while I was sleeping. My father's guards used to beat the shit out of him while I watched. But he did it for me. Now he respects my boundaries? What kind of man does that? It used to be about the stalking. He used to have principles.
simple. You know how hard it is to provide for this family? I climbed up a tower walls every day. Both ways, mind you. But nothing I did was good enough. No respect. Respect? I'll tell you about respect. It's shit. That's all you're giving me. The thrill is gone, princess. Bada boom, gone. Don't you bada boom me. Don't you know who I am? No. You guys never told me your names. All it says here on my cue cards is princess and painter. I wasn't prepared for this. Where did you two come from? How? How is this happening? I thought I was a pretty good therapist, but I just got my shit handed to me. Please, for the love of Rumiko, tell me about yourselves. Oh, so it's gonna be like that. Well, Kaede, my name is Princess. There she is, towering high, strong and grand. It's Princess. Princess who? Just Princess, you know, like Cher. Who is sh Where am I right now? How many happy pills did I take? Enough to kill an elephant. Oh, jeez. Hey, what about you? What's your story? Well, my name is... I'll tell you who he is. He's a no-good cheating with a waffle. You've been dabbling with that ink again, haven't you? You can't lie to me. Onto my own bushes, you heartbreaker. It's just so hard. The stock in life ain't so easy. So I created another floozy. What about it? You gonna judge me? Like Judge Judy? Get out of here. What's she gonna do for you? Care for you? She's never gonna let a gods beat the shit out of you like mine did. Hold on, back up. Let me try to piece this together. You're not a couple. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You're stalking her, and that's somehow not the issue. Don't you take that tone with me, Kaede. You know how hard it is to find a man to stalk you like that. He's a pro. I'm a princess. I need attention. Great. Awesome. I get that. But what's this about creating a floozy? That's where I'm lost. Well, you know, uh, I know a guy who has some, uh, shall we say paint. Let's say it's, uh, special paint. Don't act like it's all cool. He just uses a drop of his blood, summons the devil, and boom, brings his drawings to life. <sighs> is that who she is? Are you canoodling with one of your doodles again? You are, aren't you? Don't you lie to me! I didn't say anything. I'll fucking stab your parents! Here I go! I'll do it! <laughs> That's right, baby. Oh my god, you brought her here to our therapy session? Are you kidding me? <sighs> I'm just fucking... I, I can't do this right now. You know we should have went to my cousin? She's a great therapist. She got a great review on Yelp. She would have known how to fix this problem. She wouldn't have left the room. Kayede, put down that gun! I can't do this, Ricky! This was supposed to be a light and easy episode! Couples talking about minor problems in their marriage, not summoning the devil! I can't take it anymore! What am I supposed to do? You want me to go talk to them? Ah, you could try, but I doubt you can fix that hot mess! You should try to get to the root of the problem. Try to live it up your stalking situation. Try to remember what made it great. Communication will fix this. Well, I'm convinced. Yeah, we should try that. We'll give it a shot. Thank you for your time. We'll be back. Don't miss us too much. <laughs> Ricky, how did you do that? My wife and I had a similar issue. That's interesting. Yeah, we don't have time to unbox all of that because it's finally time for our next commercial. We'll be right back. <sighs> oh, that was really weird. Oh, we'll be right back. Does your shampoo make you feel like this? Try conditioner. If that doesn't work, shave your head. Wigs. Got wig lice? Try an anti-lice product. Doesn't work? Donate your wig to charity. No charities in your area? Give it to a hospital. I'm in a hospital. One in four people will end up in supervised care. A message from the Concerned Children's Advertisers. And now, back to the Coyote Countdown. And now we're on our last couple. Thank Rumiko. Let's all take a moment to thank her, we still have a show. In favor of getting this over with, please introduce yourselves. My name is Sui Jin. This is my husband, Buddy. Say hello, Buddy. Hello, Squeegee and Bubbly. Welcome to the Kaede Countdown. No, our names are... Yes, I know. I hate them. So cut to the chase. What's your problem? Well... Communication is one of the problems. Well, Bubbly, have you considered swallowing? <coughs> what? I'm not gay! Oh my, Rumiko, he talks. You did it, Kayede. You saved our marriage. That was all? You guys could have figured that out on your own instead of coming here. Bye, Kayede. Thanks for all your help. Uh. 
Oh, God, that's the good shit. Right, looks like the couples therapy is over. Finally, now we can move on to the better part of our show, the Q&A. So, uh, why'd you conveniently have the beads of subjugation tucked away in your shirt? A pocket's a pocket. I like the way they feel on my nips. How the frick does Kagome carry a bike up the well, much less get up on her own? She's strong. Don't question her strength. She'll hurt me. Did Coyote ever get laid when Inuyasha was healed? Yes. Blink. Were you glad that Inuyasha chose Kagome instead of your sister Kikyo? <laughs> Did he now? Rumiko knows I don't care. In the infamous words of Nicki Minaj, fuck who you want and fuck who you like. Okay, um, are you dating anyone? Why do I love your voice so much? <laughs> Silly anime face. I guess you like the sound of old ladies. Frail humans are the verge of death. That's weird. You're weird. Dear Lady Kaede, I'm a level 12 black dragon. I'm engaged in a battle against a party of adventurers. It is the fourth round and my turn is coming, but the healer is paralyzed with fear and immobile. The fighter is in alive, but unconscious and in critical condition. The rogue just up and vanished. The wizard and warlock are arguing over how each one spell casts and who does it better. And the paladin has broken his sword and is now throwing rocks at me. What do you think I should do in this situation? Why are you just watching them and talking to me? Do something, you're a dragon. What do you think of Inuyasha's brother? I think he deserves his own series. How come only Kagome and Inuyasha can time travel? Could Kikyo? How does that even work? Explain! Well, I'm not a scientist, but I think that only demons and humans with jewel shards can pass through the well. Kikyo probably could have, but she's undead now. Better question is, why is there a time portal in feudal Japan? Who put it there? I mean, I don't know, but still, it should be asked. It is worrisome. Did you ever get that hole in your backyard covered up? Priorities first, Kaede. There's a hole in my backyard? How did you get out of that hole Inuyasha buried you in? When Inuyasha left me in the woods to die, he forgot one fatal flaw. That hole was pathetic. I just got up. He only covered me in a thin layer of dirt and leaves. Next time you try to kill me, Inuyasha, bring your A-game. And that's all the questions for today. If you have more questions for me, post them in the comments below. So until next time, hopefully they'll be funding so they can be in next time, this is the Kayane Countdown. Peace out, bitches. Wait, that's it? That's how she closes the show? How am I supposed to follow that up? I signed on to this job and I haven't been paid yet. Well, I'll say the usual YouTube stuff, I suppose. Please follow us on social media and like and subscribe our channel. Hey, big, hit that big button down there. By following us, you can know when we release more content. And, uh, so until next time, don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. Please, bingo out. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad.